Hello and welcome. Welcome wherever you are. We're up against Filipino player MCN33. 33rd degree MCNE from the Philippines. Nice. Let's take them on. Let's take on the 33rd degrees. With the Kennedy Link Springer variation. Ironic. Ironic, isn't it? This Kennedy 2 is probably a 33. Wasn't he? Was he or wasn't he? Was he against it? Like the folklore of people like to think. Or was he in on it? Who knows, man? Who knows? All right. So he's um, effectively played this H3 move. Yeah. So let's just protect our bishop on the diagonal. Coax him into playing a move like this, probably. He really wants to pump this through. You sure, bro? You sure you want to do that? Not necessarily the brightest move, I can tell you that. Maybe I'll let you, I'll, I'll, I'll see if you want to do it. So you're doing it regardless. I could have stopped it, but I didn't even want to. Because uh, Bishop is a lovely opening now for it. And, uh, well, Knight here is pretty pleasant. Like, that's a key square for it. So we're just going to go there. Now, he went off this diagonal, so he's no longer guarding this. This becomes a exceptionally weak square, and uh, that queen check is on the cards, but for the knight sliding back, see? Or is it? I have to really think about this one. I don't know, man, but he's definitely under a lot of pressure. Of course, I could just simply take the pawn. Maybe that's easier. Maybe when in doubt, go with something straightforward, and then circle back for it. <laughs> could still go for it, actually, but... Yeah, there was this motif in the air, definitely in the air, the last move. It would be, uh, let's say, pawn takes, queen check, knight back... Knight, sorry, knight back, and then bishop takes pawn, attacking queen, but then queen comes here, and then it's a bit unclear. Maybe you just go back and try to continue holding on the pressure. Queen might have a hard time buffering this up, but maybe king up. I don't know, it got really complicated, so so I wasn't wasn't really, really sure, you know. But now that motif is out of the air, out of the equation anymore because of the bishop move so um, well it did its job it did its job now what's next you gotta go pawn up you gotta get some expansion going on here because we're not planning to play f5 are we so we gotta probably do some queenside expansion instead. Maybe knight out here is pretty interesting. Do we do we even pop this kind of question? Is it ridiculous? It doesn't sound too ridiculous to me. I know it. I know it. Uh, I don't mind this so much. I have really come to find in all the games I've been playing. Is that this advanced pawn here, if I allow it to just stay there unchallenged for long periods of time, it really, really causes a pain in the ass. It really causes a pain in the ass, this one. So I'm, I'm quite liking that I'm willing to push him around. So now I can play for, for new ideas. 
earlier version of me would be like, no, he lent a song, but I'm not afraid of that no more, because being afraid of it is worse. Yeah, there was no great square for the night. You can always just hurdle back though, if the, if the need arises. What if we go all the way up? Let's go all the way up, coax out this kind of a move. Go all the way back. And now maybe seal it up, sealed with a kiss. He's probably gonna play this, right? I would. Because this bishop would love to potentially come in here. Maybe not. He's also gonna watch out for the knight. But let's go here. He's got good activity on this side of the board now. He's gotten a lot of pieces in the game. So we have to uh, watch out for this king side a little bit. Try to weed off any tension. Um, I like the idea of an early bishop move, but I'm gonna defer on it. I'm gonna promote the idea of a night trade. One little night trade just to loosen the pressure a little bit. Little be bilby. Okay. Um, he doesn't take. Well, I like this too. Coming up with the rook here. Because this knight is well blunted by this rook. Perfect place to put it is exactly like one square hole in between the knight and you on a diagonal. So rook here would also be good. Here would be, here would be. <clears throat> now we, we come in there, we threaten. Okay, we probably hold strong down the middle, triple down. I went in with the knight finally, yeah. That was the one concession. That was the one concession that we made with the bishop move here. True. True, true. Yeah. Okay. So we've created a bit of a hole and now we've we're on a bit of time pressure too. So hold on to your hats. We're going in for the kill once more. Once more. You you've seen this before. You see you know how the story ends before even I do. So so just sit back and relax. Let me take care of business. I take care of everything. To be fair, sometimes I do, sometimes I do mess it up. Why? Well, I did my magic trick on his mind and he just blundered. Blundered. Uh, whatever. Let's go like this. Let's offer him just enough. Now let's come in with the rook. Come in with the rook here. Okay, let's try to finish this off quickly. 11 seconds left, I can definitely lose this. Link so bad. He's playing super slow. He's really just trying to win it on the clock somehow. At least he's using his time.
desperate. Dude's really desperate now, man. Dude is really desperate. We're going to beat him on the clock. <laughs> nice finish. I should have made it him, but you know, it, it went really fast. Alright, we're going to play a second game. Tune in for the next video.